today's creature of the day is the Pachycephalosaurus. Its name means thick-headed lizard because of its thick head, which was dome-shaped and used for combat. It lived during the late Cretaceous 70 to 66 million years ago. It's been found in Alberta, Canada, and the USA, specifically Montana, Wyoming, and South and North Dakota. It was the largest and is the most popular pachycephalosaur with its bony dome growing up to 30 centimeters or a foot in thickness. It grew up to 5 meters or 16 feet long and weighed up to 450 kilograms or 990 pounds. It was bipedal with long hind limbs and short forelimbs with five fingers on each hand. Its head dome was surrounded by little spikes and knobs. Forward-facing eye sockets suggest it had binocular vision. It mainly ate plants, but possibly small animals, too. There's an ongoing debate as to if Draco Rex and Stygimolic were juvenile packies, and it's likely that they were juveniles, unfortunately. Don't give up hope, though. It was hunted by predators like a Cheroraptor and went extinct due to the KPG extinction. Described by Barnum Brown and Eric Schleicher in 1943, there is only one confirmed species, Pachycephalosaurus wyomingensis, but Pachycephalosaurus spinifer is still in question. In media, it's appeared in the Land Before Time series, Prehistoric Planet, Dinosaur King, Ice Age 3, Primeval New World, Gigantosaurus, Power Rangers, Pokemon, kind of, Jurassic Park 2 and other Jurassic media, Saurian, Ark Survival Evolved, Carnivores, and Stygimolic and Draco Rex have many media appearances too, but I probably won't cover those. Well, that's a very interesting bone-headed dinosaur from the late Cretaceous that's pretty cool and I'd love to see it in real life someday. Anyways, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.